why don't we shift our attention over to Washington and Kalen uh, DeBoer? How do you feel about Washington? Yeah, let's go up Interstate Five up the up the West Coast here. Kalen DeBoer. I mean, we talked about it on the wind totals. If you guys have seen that that podcast or if you watch the video on YouTube, highly recommend you do that, especially if you're a Pac-12 fan. Kalen DeBoer, we both really like to hire. I really like to hire. I mean, Washington isn't necessarily going to get the spotlight like USC and Miami and Oklahoma does, even though it's still a pretty good program. Like you want to talk about the programs that I just listed. You want to talk about that like next tier down of like programs that have been able to recruit a decent amount of blue chip prospects, but aren't necessarily like on the national radar when people think about, you know, you know, national championship and college football playoff level teams every year. It's Washington. Like, it's Washington. Yeah. Like Washington's shown the ability. They can, they can get recruits up there, but with Kalen DeBoer, it's not the recruiting. It's the developments, the on field development and success. That's his strength. That's his track record. I mean, you highlight what was his record or his career record as a coach rather. It's like 96 and eight or something like that. It's something crazy. He has 90 plus wins and less than 10 losses in his head coaching record. Right. And that's insane. And of course, relative to all the talent that he's faced against his entire coaching career, that's pretty impressive. To do what he, to do what he did at Fresno State, that was pretty impressive. I mean, gosh, if I was a Washington fan, I got to be kicking myself at, that Jake Hayner didn't follow through with his original transfer intention. Man. Oh, man. man, if Jake but Hayner came through, they'd be contenders this year. They still the do have good potential there, though. They still got the Michael Penix. They still do have Sam Heward, who Penix, has some potential. Uh, hey, if Penix, maybe. if Penix can be any sort of like shadow of his 2020 self, then that, that's a good thing for Washington. And keep in mind, we're talking about a Washington offense that was pretty Dreadful. competent last year. Yes. Dreadful. They were terrible, Shoe. Yeah. As far as Kalen DeBoer, I love the hire, man. I, in addition to that, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it. I mean, he brings his coordinators with them. Um, there's just great continuity over there, and they have a really good system in place. He's a winner. He's just a born winner, man. And I think that's what they need over there in Washington. I mean, I look back, um, I remember Washington was getting all these high recruit quarterback players, like five-star quarterbacks, near five-star quarterbacks consistently, it seemed like, for a while. But one thing, one thing that seemed consistent as well is that they were constantly flopping. These guys were either transferring or they just weren't living up to hype or whatever the case may be. So Chris maybe Kalen in years, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And like imagine being a Washington fan during that era. Like you have all this hope and hype. Like, man, look at all this talent we're bringing in. And none of that pans out. So I'm thinking Kalen DeBoer can put a stop to that. Because as you said, he's a developmental guy. Look look at Jake Hayner over there at Fresno State. Now take a take a five star guy and develop him like Hayner and see where you go. They did make the college football playoff that one year and I think it was 2016, right? So yeah, they did, I they, did so. they did sneak in that year, but yeah, I mean Chris Peterson was a pretty good recruiter. I think Washington, I I guess we'll see what Kalen DeBoer can do on the recruiting trail, but DeBoer will be sort of like more on the Kyle Whittingham side of the spectrum. You might not necessarily get the splash recruits like you were used to getting where occasionally you get a five-star level player to go to Washington, but you're still probably going to have really good development. And I believe that DeBoer on the offensive side, you'll start seeing over time that Washington's probably going to have a fun offense to watch. And I would expect it to be good. I, I expect this to be a hire that pans out. I'm I'm pretty high on this one. And I think Washington fans should be excited. Definitely a good time to be a Washington fan. Good future. Don't know about this year, but a very great future ahead of them. 